What's going on guys? This is Chance and I am back with another episode of What's the Chance of That? I think we're on episode 3 and I got two different clips for you today and this is going to be clip 1. This was in a team scrim a few nights ago and I just wanted to show you so I'm going to set up the scenario for you guys. This is a wild like just me getting melted which you know I'll show you why it baffled me so much. But, you know, right here, I'm out of ammo, my primary weapon, my scorpion. Um, we just broke this hill, I believe. And uh, we just broke the rotation. We actually beat them on rotation. So I'm two kills off of my score streaks. And I'm playing them without any ammo in my gun. So I'm waiting to pick up a gun here. So I have my knife out, and that's all I have right now. So you're going to see me play it a little slow. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. I see my team has back alley control. Axemer gets a huge kill on. So we have spawns right there. We got a huge kill on Hay. And I'm going to wait it out here. Bottom floor. I peek. See there's a kid bottom floor. He hits me, but I don't think he saw me because he's worried about my teammate. I'm going to pick up a knife kill on him because he's blind. And I pick up this MP7. Pick up a good kill there on their back alley. Uh, rotating. And boom. Right there live. Fast speed right there. Look at that. That was um, full speed. Now we're going to run it back one here, and I'll play in slow now. So, boom, I get the kill there for my health storm. And this is for probably going to be my lightning strike or one off my lightning strike. You call in a health storm over the building. I see him in yellow. I start pre firing. Get a bullet there. He hits the corner. I am pre firing that doorway. And look at how fast I die. So, uh, th I mean, that just baffles me online. On land, I would get that kill. I, I just don't understand how in this game you could be pre-firing a doorway which is no bigger than the player model itself and he comes out and kills you as fast as he does when I already have a bullet into him and put at least two more. He kills me in three bullets here. We'll double look it again. Let me take out that kid. Count the bullets this time. The Hellstorm didn't hurt him. One, he hits the corners. I'm still pre firing. Two, I only get two bullets somehow there. I mean, that's just broken cameras. I mean, everything right there. I'm going to go to his screens. Derpy. Let's see here. So I'm going to play it real time for you to see how quick he kills me. It's amazing full speed. Boom! Look at that, man. Look at that. Just tell me there isn't anything wrong with that man. Like, that's just unbelievable to me. Slow mo. Look. There's me. Bullet in. Alrighty. Let's see here. I know it's Cedar. You guys don't have to remind me of Cedar, and sometimes it glitches, but. One, two, three. Three bullets. And I got two more shots into him there. So I put three bullets into him, too. And, and pre firing. There was at least two bullets that didn't register as I was pre-firing the door that should have hit. So, that's just ridiculous. And one more time, full speed for, for shits and giggles there. It just baffles me, I mean, how this goes on, man. Look at how quick, and he comes out and proceeds to kill another kid. Three shots. It's just, oh man, gotta love it. That's unbelievable. So, that's example one for you guys in this episode. And we're going to show you the other clip here. Alright, so I'm back with part two here for you guys of this What's the Chance of That? Episode three. This is clip number two of this. And this is another flaw. I mean, it might have been in other in all the other Call of Duties when it comes to Search and Destroy. Um, but it just baffles me again that something like this can happen, especially in such a you know, precision based, you know, game type scenario wise as a search and destroy can be and you're gonna see here. So on my screen is where I planted the bomb and my dead body on it because I died after I planted it. So we have bomb down. It is a two v one, the enemy has the numbers and Nifty is the last one alive on my team. And we specifically play this bomb spot for him to run a certain play, which he, which if he has to, he can clutch in scenarios just like this one, where he can play um, 
bottom he can play bottom or top red or driveway and be able to look at to at the bomb and get a shot on the bomb at any way diffusing. So he's got a 1v2 right now and he's doing what I just told you in red and he's gonna peak bottom red because he has to check bomb. So this would be this is easily or well easily this is easily a 1v2 clutch and it could have cost us this was in the ICNAM series today and could have actually won the game we ended up losing on last map last round 5-6 so you're gonna see right there in full time boom you're gonna tell me the enemy comes in you know see it again he's gonna come in and pick the bomb up and be able to shield his whole body like this and end up diffusing the bomb. You see, Nifty pops out and starts pre-firing the spot because I told him it was in that spot. This kid was able to pick up the bomb, pick up the bomb. Look, look, he is laying down and picks it up and look at how far he takes it. Look at how far he takes it. And he eats an aid. He eats an aid because he has flash jacket, but he shields himself. When the bomb is planted in the corner, tell me that is not broken. I don't never notice something that significant in any of the other Call of Duties. Like that is beyond me. He was able to shield himself, and yet he picked it up while laying down. Look at how far the bomb moves, and look at how he takes it. He shields his whole body, and there is Bruce getting the call at the bombs on the corner, and he just pre-fires and hits nothing. And so, and I went back and looked at this and was just baffled. This literally like was a round that could have won us this series and moved us on to the next round in the AM series. It just it's crazy how that bomb can be picked up on a completely shielded side when it's planted out in the open. And now we went into a private match and looked at it um, and tried doing it ourselves. It's actually because I planted it too close on the end here, but. I mean, it, it was actually more or less on our side of this half of the bomb. On this end of the bomb, it was on our side. But he was able to come through, pick it up. I, and it was it was relatively close to the end, like hugging the bomb. But somehow he reached it and pulled it all the way over here and ended up shielding himself and getting that round because of that. It's just, I just don't understand, you know, because here I'll show you. Oh, not Dolly Cam. I'll show you Bruce's angle and show you how he played it and how it would have been an easy, easy 1v2 here. So we get in the call. He hits the bomb, knows he's hurt, and I told him it's in that spot, and he's not even there. Just shielded completely. When he should have been, you know, even laying down, he would have been able to get shots. But somehow this kid stakes his bomb, and we lost. And we ended up losing that match 6 5. So. That's what's the chance of that episode three. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm out. Peace.